Uh, can I actually get across from here? Fuck. I don't think I can. Jesus. Can I just maybe jump across? See if that's gonna work. Okay, here we go. Winging it. Oh, okay, good. Thank God. Just go up this way, please. This is insane. I wish it was like daytime. Oh, didn't mean that. Okay. Where am I going to go next? So these are main quests. So quest, what's this over here? I kind of want to do this. And then we can go to here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Alright, that's not what I planned. That's good enough. It's a long climb, just to go down again. I'm not going to do that. Let's just jump off here. Oh my god, it's so, like, scary. Even though I'm not going to get full damage, it's just scary watching it. It's so fucking high. Alright. Nope. Nope. Forward and jump off. Not forward and jump up, please. Alright, there we go. <laughs> okay. I wonder what this is. Can I, I hope I can do this. Like, like now, and I just don't gatekeep some way. It's right below me. I'm gonna get this thing first. Get this viewpoint. I'm not sure where or what it is. It's up, so it's that I'm guessing. Yeah, it has to be this. Tower of Wisdom. Man, what a crazy city. Holy shit. Like... What a cool, just crazy city for the Isu to just live. And humans as well, like... I wonder what happened to the humans that... Lived with... Uh... These Atlantean gods, you know, cause, like... Think about the lore, right? Humans that were created, well, from Eden anyway, they were created as like slave labor, and that's where it all started pretty much. And then they escaped, and then I guess these guys decided to see like humans more as just slaves, or they probably saw it as like unethical and maybe gave them shelter or something like that, whatever. But there would have been like a first like human. Ooh, the Forge of Atlantis. Ooh, this is interesting. It would have been like a first, you know, just a group of humans or or whatever that they first took shelter and took care of that weren't like 
they lived in the real world and then came to Atlantis or you know whatever because that's how the story of Elysium and Underworld right they lived in the real world still first and then came here after they died or you know whatever that however that like makes sense in the law or the story is that like a throne up there Fucking hell, okay seems to be a lot of space up here that's kind of like a little empty so yeah I wonder what those are uh, Isu weapons, man, this is awesome. Holy shit. Well, I kind of what those humans were like. Because they would have been had to, they would have just had to move and escape from Eden or live or from wherever they are and then just move to Atlantis some way and lived with the Isu. So, Daddy. it'd be cool to see that. Okay, so it's not like the, I thought it was just going to be the Hephaestos uh, vendor or something similar to that. Oh man, I've only got 37,000? Holy shit. Do I, I don't think I have anything to sell. Nothing fantastic anyway. Done. Goodbye then. Okay, that was a little underwhelming. It's just a little, just a normal. For the Forger Atlantis, I was kind of expecting more than just a simple blacksmith. I want to have a look at this throne. This definitely looks like a kind of Hephaestus kind of workshop because there's fire and shit. Are these like where the weapons were made? Oh, shit, okay. His Isuka molds for Hephaestus' last great weapons deep in Atlantis. Okay, so it is Hephaestus, maybe? Clearly enough, uh, adamant ingots interact with the molds. Forge weapon for a hunter warrior or an assassin playstyle. Drew pen can only be crafted once. Ooh. Uh, each weapon can only be crafted once, so choose wisely. So I can only choose one weapon, or I can have one of each. I'm guessing I can only have one of the three. So this is like your spear. This is like your mace. And this is your dagger. So that'll be the assassin one. Uh, maybe like warrior hunter maybe. I don't know what would classify as hunter if it's not a bow. Okay, I can. I don't have to walk all this way. Knowledge sequence two required. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we should get the viewpoints first. Go over here because it's close. Closer. Then we can go around, maybe get some of these question marks as we go to there. And there's going to be a lot of walking in this game, in this episode of the DLC. Can I summon my horse here? No. Nope. That sucks. Jesus, steering. I, mean, I like how it's just a big ring of water. It makes it easy to like get around. The old man of Poseidon. All right, just up here. Oh, crash. Right. Okay. All right. See you later. <laughs> my poor driving, my poor sailing skills. 
Okay. Man, that's fucking high, dude. Are these all like Isu? No, they're not. Wait, this guy's an Isu. Is that like an Isu or is that a human? Because I remember Adam and Eve had this kind of clothing. So maybe these are the humans descended straight from the ones from Eden? Hmm. Maybe that is the case. Alright, where's the best way to go up from here? Okay, it's... Oh my god, it's right there. Okay, so we can go up here. How am I going to get over there? I'm not going to be able to make that. Yeah, see? Fuck. It's going to be fucking annoying to climb and shit. Is that a shark? Oh my god, it's a shark. Dude, I'm not sure if that's an appropriate thing to put in a... <laughs> in a bathing, like, area. Fear-mongering. Alright. Okay, I'm good. Go up here. So they're all, like, on the roads. Like, the main roads, I guess. Which is convenient. But I haven't really worked out how to properly, like run around this area Power of intellect. Okay, let's uh, see which side we want to be on. Um, we want to be on the left side, but there's a road here, so we can go. We can go inside, around. Can we call the horse? Yes, beautiful, perfect. Let's go. Inside with less area to cover, so it's a small circle, it make it be quicker. Then we, can, then we can cross, and then that'll be the fastest way. Oops, sorry, people, it coming through. Okay, that was much faster. Tower of Intuition. Nice, that's nice and quick. Man, it's still dark time. I kind of like how there's blue lights too, amongst all the like all the fire, all the orange ones. All right, and is there another one over here? No, there's one like way over there. Okay, so that's all right. Um, I want to get this, or we can just continue to go here, I guess. But there is a question mark over the here, on the inside as well. But there's a way we can cross over there. If you guys see that, it's like black. It's like some sort of bridge. Come on. So... Can get this, whatever this is. That's a garrison, okay. Man. It's also going to be really hard to decipher what a garrison is compared to what, like, normal housing is.
Uh, I don't know what the hell that shit is. Okay. So, there's a striker here too. Okay. You see codex. You see general personal log. Oh, oh my god. I kind of want to read this. Man, there's a lot of quests there. Holy shit. All of a sudden, I've just got like a bunch of quests out of nowhere. Uh, is this even going to come up? Probably not. Whatever. Too bad. I'm not going to look for it. I've got so many like different things to look through. So hard to see. Holy shit. Okay. Gotta put the torch away so I don't burn the whole freaking place down. Okay, this is perfect. Destroy that. Come on, come get me. Alright, I'm waiting for one of those to come around. Oh my god, Icarus is attacking him! Get him! Do that 10,000 damage! God damn it. Fuck, I didn't even do that. I'm gonna die. Nice. Man, imagine if it like glitched out there and I got both of them, that'd have been cool. Oh, what grinds that one? Holy shit. How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. Right in Berg. How's it going, bro? How's your day been? Alright. Uh, what have we got left in this area? Oh, yeah. And the striker we got somewhere around here. Man, it's so dark, dude. I can't even see. Okay. So I'm for that to be a little quicker, but oh well. Man, I kind of love how there's like, like Isu themed weapons and armor and just shit around. That's so cool. It really makes it feel like an actual like Isu uh, city. Right. Oh my god, can I not go because there's cloth above me? Fuck's sake. Sun's rising. Yes, yeah, finally it's daytime. Okay. Here we go. Alright. I don't know what that is over there. Is that even show up on the map? Uh maybe not. Do I just, like discover these like on my own? What is the best way to cross here? Hmm. No. 
Grab it. Ah, oh, god damn it. Damn it. So I'm gonna grab that friggin' rope. Oh my god, if he's oh my god, if she jumped off the edge there, I would have been so upset. <laughs> I've been so angry. Alright, where's the entrance? I don't know what this is. Okay, not this way. So I have to like enter from the top or some secret entrance? Nope, just here. Wow, so this is not even on the map. Scan issue codex. Uh, it's not unknown to me that Elas Sipos sympathizes more with Aita and Juno since I sent them back to Feyen and forbade them from entering Atlantis. Time will tell if my allowing this will be a mistake. Archon of Affairs, Decastus Basilius Poseidon. It's unknown to me that Elas Sipos sympathizes. Okay. Sympathizes more with Aita and Juno since I sent them back. To Feyan and forbade them from entering Atlantis. Hmm. I really want to read them. All those codex things. I'm actually going to try and find. Try and find it. Because there was another one I saw as well. I'm not sure if it would be actually here though. Like, what does the what does the what does the icon look like? Is it gonna be, um, it actually might be in the computer in the real world. Wait a minute. Okay. No, it's definitely not it. Yeah, it's gonna be in the real world. On the, on the laptop. So hopefully I'll remember to read it. Um, help the archons. So these are the three archons. What's this one? Find retrieve the keepers in sight in the outskirts of the Porimus Porimus Ring. Wisdom of the Ancients. Reach knowledge sequence one. Issue knowledge can be acquired by helping the citizens of Atlantis. It can be found in uh, Isu data caches. It can be gained from keepers' insights. It can also be obtained by scanning an Isu codex. Alright, cool. I really want that. So that was not marked on the map. That's very. That's a yikes, man. That's very interesting. That will. That's that'll be a struggle. That'll be a struggle for me. That'll be a struggle for me. That's what I meant to say. So is anyone any more in this general area? Oh my god! There's one over here too. I mean, there's like one in every tower? No. Because I just have to find them. I found... Well, how many have I found so far? One or two? I think that was my first... Oh, I don't know. Maybe that was my second? I don't know. Because I've got two of those letters, but I don't remember where the first one came from. Yeah, I've got two. I've definitely gotten two. Definitely gotten two. Cause I've gotten two letters, so let's go get, grab this third one here. Since they don't appear on the map, I really want to make sure I get them ASAP. I can't zoom in anymore as either. It kind of sucks. So I think it's this tower here. Alright, it's, it's up. So I want to climb. I'm not sure if I have to climb this high. Or like how high I have to climb at all. Hang on, here we go. Okay, interesting, okay. A 
and fairest Archon of Defense, uh, Poseidon, and fairest my boldest son is a noble defender of Atlantis. In him I trust the Atlantean military to ensure peace and safety of all citizens. The sister realms have faced many dangers throughout our rich history, but Ampharis has met them all. Ampharis. What, who or what is Ampharis? Thou must admit to hearing reports of my son growing callous and perhaps extreme in his methods. So, I do know and I'm pretty sure this is the, the case, I'm pretty sure this is, I'm correct here, but the sister realms refers to the the set of three uh, Elysium, Underworld and Atlantis and Eden which is like the other like Isu like area, the other Isu city so I'm not sure if the sister realms means their group of three or if the sister realms is encompassing like all of like Eden and them both, like the sister the sister realm is Eden, and from e and like Eden, their sister realm is Atlantis, oh uh, and whatever. So I'm not sure exactly how that's like defined to like a specific like, point, but I understand when I read the sister realms, it's referring to either this place or Eden or both. Um, a face mate, and I don't know who or what Ampharis is. What's it mean? Here, blah, 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 blah. I went here and I've seen his compassion. Okay, there's no more. There's no more. It looks like there's more to the scroll, but there's really nothing. <laughs> I went here, I've seen his compassion. Ever the noble soldier, he has vowed to never to let Anosol suffer the same losses he has. Okay, Ampharis. So Ferris is But I'm Ferris has met them all okay, so I'm Ferris is the son. Okay. There was another name in the earlier one. Um so I wonder if these maybe aren't saved. I'm kinda scared if they're not saved. They if they oh well I'll, i if I wanna read them I can look on YouTube or some shit anyway. So I'm not fussed. But I hope, really hope they're saved in the game somehow. Because that would be a bummer if they're not. It would really be a bummer. Don't keep a sharp watch here. I think the first one was over here, if I remember correctly. I can reread this. What the fuck? There's fish? Oh my god, there's literally just fish everywhere. Um, here. No. God damn it. Where was it? it? Wasn't this far around. I don't know where it is anymore. I don't remember where it was. I remember it was around this camp somewhere, I'm pretty sure, but. Maybe it was up? Somehow? Pretty sure it was like right here. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Musings on menaces. Our garrisons will prove ins insufficient. Human to grow bolder than an insidious plan formed in Menaces' mind. Weaponize the humans against themselves. Surely he wasn't cunning enough to come up with such a plan. Menaces. He's going to use it. Humans against them. Okay, I'm glad I like read. I'm kind of interested in like. I'm really interested in all the Isu stuff, so I make special effort to go and read back for that stuff. Um, even though a lot of people probably don't care about it, same way a lot of people don't really care about the real world stuff. Um, in which I don't really care too much either. It's definitely that like, takes a back seat, but I'm still interested. But I'm a lot more, a lot less interested now. I, it was more interesting way, way uh, earlier in this franchise with Desmond and stuff. Okay, is this a dead? Is this a dead human or a dead Isu? What's this? Protect yourselves. Ah, uh, the armor that's coming to our possession. Represents protection not meant for us. It was forged for the Decastus. But who's to say they they deserve all the power in Atlantis? In this realm of Isu versus human, 
A justice to cast us will let us there lend in Polymarx. Keep it for ourselves until we are found out. The pieces are spread amongst you in the domus of Mesto, Alessopos, and the seas. Azais and Otoxonos. Keep them safe. So, is that like an armor piece? Armor pieces, I'm guessing. Protect yourselves. Hmm. Cool. Interesting. Let's go do this. Man, I wonder if we're gonna be able to sail like all the way out there in the water. Like, yeah, we should be able to look because there's there's boats. First one track target. Is Azais a physician and an archon? Uh okay. Now I'm gonna have to constantly check around the map. For those, like, for those codex or whatever they are, those writings. I'm lucky the, I'm lucky Icaros has such a huge, like, range. But I don't know if it's all actually showing me everything in its range. Because since they're hidden from the map, they might, only sh they might only show when I'm really close. What's this? This is it. Maybe I have to like. Uh, Zoom in to like see any of them. See what's this? What are those chests? Just random chests. I'm not too fast about them, but I definitely want to be mindful of uh, of those orange codec codex or whatever they are. I don't see much as any around here, so it should be alright. Ah, oh, see, there goes one over there. So I do have to identify them like that. Man, okay. Is it going to be like in very significant spots, like towers and garrisons, perhaps? I really wanted to find them all. I guess I can just YouTube it, so... Not too fast, but... Still, it would be nice not to resort to those kinds of means and just find them on my own. Okay, I'm going to get closer to Cassandra so there's no load time. There we go. Okay. What have I missed? What must I do? Zeiss? You have your hands full. Vigastis, you're a welcome sight. The only one I've had in some time. So many sick. I'm surprised that anything can spread in a place as advanced as this. Oh, it's shocking. Nothing I have tried will cure the sick or stop the pathogen spreading. I've lost so many already. When did you first start? notice people were getting sick? At the start of this cycle. It began quite slowly and I didn't think much of it. But then the cases grew rapidly day by day. The more that fell sick, the faster the pathogen spread. 
You seem really worried. Have you ever seen a sickness like this before? No. There are many odd phenomena during this cycle. Plant dying, strange insects, and animal attacks. I worry about what this could signify. Don't worry. We'll find a way to stop the sickness. Tell me what you need. Well, there was a device being worked on by a scientist named Consus. It's intended mm, to rapidly heal injuries and eradicate disease. Was? His device is missing. Scientists here have tried to replicate it based on the schematics, but it's still in the experimental phase. And it hasn't been tested on humans. So it may not work. That's not the biggest issue. Poseidon has outlawed the use of our technology on humans. I fear that if we don't act quickly, the pathogen will spread across Atlantis. Ah, uh, we should purge the sickness. Hmm. Does that mean like purging people? I don't know what that implies. If you think this healing device can help the sick, then I'll make sure that you have it. The wisdom of an issue, but the compassion of a human. You were a good choice for the Gustis. You'll find the device in one of the issue laboratories in the Consus archive. Oh, is this going to lead me? 270, okay. Not too far. You know, I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely paranoid now for those things that I kind of want to get. Um, and hope I find. So much detail is like almost overwhelming. The device has ice for Okay, can I go through this? Yes. Uh, easy data cache, click adamant. Oh, those, those are adamant ingots, those triangle treasures. Okay. Kill captain. Alright, interesting. I wonder if that moulding for the sword is actually the katana looking one that I've been wondering this whole time. over there. No blue thing over there. Hmm, here we go. Is there another one? Nope. Okay, we got scan data cache. That of the planet. What was in that box? Bodies tingling like mad. There must be more of these somewhere. God damn it. Commander braces, they look cool. 
Wait, uh, do we get like a full new looking set? Now? Kind of. Oh, that looks fucking cool. It's definitely going on my warrior set. And what are these? These are interesting. That's a blue and that's a red version. That's kind of cool too. Is that the Isu Meridian Paturgs? Okay. Maybe it's because... Oh, it's the same. It's just because this is like an undergarment for the chest piece or the... the whatever you call it. The uh, armor. Man, that blue one is, might actually look really cool. those on, I think they look a bit better. Doesn't really fit like the coloring, <laughs> does it? But, oh well. It's like gold, and then how much black? This is got oh, cool. This metal is heavy. And here's a note. The Forge of Atlantis. This can be used to create weapons. I have to find this place. Uh, it should be in multiple s the rest of the ingots should be kept in multiple city archives and repositories. A meeting hall will be built in the castles on uh once the forge is destroyed at a later date. Once the forge is destroyed. Is there something I can move? Oh my god. This is really like puzzly. This is fucking great. Alright. Jesus. I might fucking is this area alright? Jesus. Like, there's just so much shit going on. Like, what a crazy design. What, what am I supposed to be looking at for? Oh my god, there's fucking dead people? Holy shit. What the fuck's this? Oh yeah, this is the uh, AC device. Okay. I forgot I was looking actually for a main quest. <laughs> a main quest item. 
Okay, I was gonna say that's kind of cool. The main quest is actually hidden behind somewhere. Um, all right. Now I know there was another. Here we go, and there was another um, blue uh, triangle icon. These movable objects are pretty cool, but I think the one from Hades are cooler. They like full on glow red, it's black, and they glow red. If these like glow blue, I would have said that these are the best, but unfortunately, you know, they don't glow my favorite color. Okay, from memory, I, think I saw. Maybe not. Oh wait, what the hell is fucking hell is? I could have missed this completely. Holy shit! Wait, there's two of these. Oh my god. I could miss a note. This is my personal account. Okay, there's actually a decent amount of this. This is my personal account of the family relationships claimed to the Dicastus Basilius. For the official statement, for those who exist past this cycle of destruction, takes these words as a warning. Past this cycle of destruction, take these words as a warning. My official document will read that Hades, brother of Poseidon, is a mastermind of leadership. On the contrary, his immaturity should bar him from any realm above his underworld. Matters unique to the East don't concern him, for in his realm the quality of blood his subordinates have are uh, inconsequential. But progress means as much to him as the dirt on his sandal. Other than a love of games of chance, Poseidon and Hades are opposites. However, they do share a common ground to one, one subject, Zeus, their, old, their other brother, God and Child of Top Mount Olympus, has been a taboo topic for more cycles than have been recorded. The brothers had a day away there, Brutal would, uh, would have stopped at two. One myth tells of a time Zeus came to Atlantis personally to reprimand his brother as soon as he left, Poseidon destroyed the cycle just to get his stench out of the air. That is truly a bad mood. Uh, Consus' Shroud of Eden. That's right, Consus made a... Yeah, that's right, Consus made a Shroud of Eden, that's right. I forgot that artifact that... I forgot that artifact existed. Well, Hephaestus, the master of forging instruments of war, his apprentice, Consus, proved himself equally capable of creating instruments of life. It was during the War of Unification where the scientists... where the scientists made bloodshed with innovation. I don't remember... I don't know what the War of Unification is. In the face of ever rising death toll, he worked obsessively to create a device which could restore bodies devastated by war to their previously healthy state. He eventually succeeded in creating a prototype. As he approached the end of his natural life, he uploaded his consciousness into this new device. That's right. Unable to communicate with the outside world, however, he and the prototype disappeared into obscurity for centuries. Many failed attempts were made by fellow EC scientists to replicate Consciousness' invention. During the previous cycle, rumors surfaced about the discovery of Consus's original prototype, but event original prototype, but evidence of this discovery has yet to be revealed. Now, there's not a third one that I'm fucking missing. Jesus. You really gotta like search these places, holy shit. Gotta like keep track of where I've been and where I haven't been. Here we go. I oh, know. Okay, it's I thought it was a chest that I could open, but it's not. I've already opened that chest. Okay, so I've been here. Been through there as well. 